Hi, my name is Ed Weehan, and I will be your host for today's episode of OurVentura.com. And I'm really excited today because our guest is Judy Devine, Recreation Manager for the City of Ventura. Welcome, Judy. Thank you, Ed. Thanks for having me. Nice of you to take the time to be with us. Maybe you can just give us a little overview of the Recreation Department and how it fits into the structure mm -hmm. of the city. Be happy to. Um, we, we actually have a little bit of a new department last year, so we're Parks, Recreation, and Community Partnerships. So I'm the Recreation Manager, and so under that we have the aquatics, all youth programs, youth sports, uh, youth outreach programs, community gardens, mm -hmm. senior services, adult sports, you name it. So. So all that's under us. Boy, you have you have quite a bit to do there. We do. <laughs> and I, I think going back over the years, one of the sort of high visibility areas mm -hmm. has been the Aquatic Center. Um, it was a major investment by our community mm -hmm. and very successful. I've been there myself. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can talk a little bit about, about what's happening out there. Sure. It's As you know, it's a huge, it was a huge undertaking. We went from, I'm from the Midwest originally, and when I moved here some 26 years ago. Nebraska. Nebraska. You just... Let everybody know as a Cornhusker. I did. <laughs> uh, when I when we moved here, when I moved here and started the city, there was not even a little community pool. So we went from no community pool to, as you know, the Ventura Aquatic Center. So when we opened that facility, it's be far beyond what we thought it would be. We knew we'd have swim lessons, water exercise, and it's just developed into, we have the Buena Swim Club's home there, and as you may or may not know, Venter College is now there as well. Unfortunately, their pool right. you know, leaked, so they're over there. We have youth programs. We have a huge summer program where we call it the Youth Novice Teams. Mm -hmm. So it's a grant funded through LA84, funded by the 84 Olympics. Mm -hmm. So in the summer, we have novice programs, swim team, synchronized swimming, diving, um, swim team, those type of programs. And then the water exercise, the lap swim, the masters are there at 5.30 in the morning. Uh, and then in the summer, as you probably know since you've been there, the recreation swim time, we, we know we have the water slides right, right. and the play area. So in the summer on a warm day, it's quite crowded. There's not a lot of room. In fact, I think yeah. it sells out on many, many it warm does. Saturday, Sunday mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it uh, it's a wonderful place to hang out, let alone the aquatic center, all the soccer mm -hmm. fields. Mm -hmm. Boy, it seems like when I'm out there, those things are just mm -hmm. packed, particularly on the weekends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I we uh, I mentioned the Buena Swim Club. Their home is there, and they have a, they bring in about four swim meets a year, and they're large meets, they're huge meet in June, where it's about a thousand swimmers from all right. over other states too. So they're feeling, if you go out to eat during those four days, you'll see swimmers yeah. and, at the hotels. And uh, but the, we had a swim meet about two weeks ago, and when I drove in, I looked over and saw soccer swimming, softball was going on, mm -hmm. people were going around the path, and uh, it's just it's a great thing for our community. Yep, it, it, mm -hmm. and it really is. Mm -hmm. what, one of my favorite areas, of course, I think, from my point of view, is the west side. Mm -hmm. and, and the many programs and outreach that the city does mm -hmm. in that area, and your department is really at the mm -hmm. forefront of all that. Maybe you could talk a little bit about what's happening on the west side. Sure, I'd be happy to. Uh, we have a, a small community center out there. For people who don't know, it's West Park Community Center. Uh, in at West Park, we have kids there every day after school and on weekends. Uh, we run programs like soccer. We have over 200 kids in soccer. And typically, these are kids who might not have transportation or the fundings to mm -hmm. drive across the city to play AYSO. So we have the soccer programs, after school programs. Matter of fact, I was there recently. They had a sleepover. So parents oh. dropped their children off at 6. We locked the doors. They were there till 9 the next morning. Um, and one of the bigger things at West Park now, if you haven't been there for a while, mm. we have an art room, we have a computer room, the kids do homework there, we have the teen center, uh, camps is the big thing now, so we'll have about 60 kids a week in the summer there doing camps and dance performances and then the evenings and, and then also on the west side is uh, Peak. Peak and PAL programs? Peak and yeah. PAL, good. Wonderful. Uh, Peak is something started, it's Peak is Program Enrichment for After School Kids. So uh, that was started really as a collaboration with the school district, the city, and PAL, Police Activities League. Right. And it's after school care for low-income families who need us. So essentially it's the kids who would be home alone after school. 
out on their own. Mom and dad are working. They would be out on the streets. And so we worked really closely with the school district to create this. So it's not just watching kids after school. They get an hour of en enrichment recreation, mm -hmm. arts, they get an hour of academics, so we work closely with the principals. We're at six school sites and then also at West Park. Wow. So they get an hour of academics, so this program has shown that the kids' test scores are better, the mm -hmm. kids in that program, and they're just getting such quality programs, uh, like I said, from sports, theater, arts, um, you know, all kind of rich management activities, so. Yeah, no, yeah. it's it's wonderful yeah. and it's exciting. And, and the other area is, is PAL, which mm -hmm. Police Activities League. Correct. Yeah, PAL is, um, uh, it's a nonprofit. They're just our partner in all these programs I just mentioned. Right. They actually partner with us on PEAK that I just mentioned. We have mm -hmm. another program called Teen Voice. Uh, mm -hmm. One exciting new thing is we have is a rec mobile. Oh. And that's fairly new. People have seen it drive around town, I would say, in the past maybe six months. Uh, it's a good example of a collaboration. It co didn't cost the city any money. The police department actually had a trailer, so mm. we thought, can we turn that into a recmobile? So the Public Art Commission painted a mural on it. Uh, we got a grant to fill it with activities and arts and sports supplies. And now we go to three parks, mm -hmm. we try to go where there's no place for kids to go. Right. So we take that to where if kids aren't within a Boys and Girls Club or YMCA or city facility, we take the recmobile to the park. And it's quite, we have over 100 kids doing that now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's just yeah. unbelievable. So it's very fun. We're reaching yeah. more and more kids. If, if we go outside of the realm of that to pl other places that uh, many of the people who, who live here in Ventura are familiar with, like Olivas Adobe, mm -hmm. we, we have outreach programs such as that, some nature programs mm -hmm. that, you're, that mm -hmm. you're in charge of. Maybe you could talk a little bit sure. about those. It's actually called the Interpretive Outreach Program. Okay. And that is a program, mostly nature and history programs for school-aged children. Mm -hmm. So the school sign up a classroom and they'll come mm -hmm. during the school day. Uh, we have monarch butterfly programs, tiled pool, but the most popular one is our Levis program, and it's mm -hmm. at the Levis Adobe. The kids actually they make a Levis, they make adobe bricks, adobe stomp bricks. in the mud. Right, right. They grind corn. They tour the facility, and they also make tortillas. That's kind of the highlight. They yeah. taste pretty good. I've yeah. had them too. So school-aged kids, they come there on a bus. Um, they go through the adobe program, and then they go back to school. So it's, uh, the schools love that program. I know all that mud down there just is a real draw to the kids <laughs> when they see that making those adobe uh, uh -huh. blocks kind of a thing. Yeah. So, you know, the other thing is, is when I look through um, your recreation guide mm -hmm. um, for the youth of our community, not only from what we've just talked about, but there's so much else out there. The other uh, teams and sports that you're involved with. Maybe you could talk a little bit about that. Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, VYBA is Venturi's Basketball. Yes. And it's probably the largest program the city runs, and we've ran it for 55 years. Actually, this year's the 55th year. So um, it's uh, about a thousand kids playing youth basketball. Mm -hmm. The one thing, and, and I, I personally ran this program for many years, so I'm very passionate about it, but we, are, we emphasize sportsmanship and participation, so not winning. Right. And that's hard these days right. in this era. So uh, we, for example, in youth basketball, there's five quarters. Every child has to play two quarters. You'll see during the season, there's a sportsmanship award at each game, every game. At the end of the year, there's a VYB championships. You'll see a trophy for MVP, and mm -hmm. you'll see a much bigger trophy for the sportsmanship award. Wow. And there's That's... team sportsmanship awards. And so we really try to emphasize that in all our recreation programs, just the sportsmanship aspect and good character, the character counts program. Right. Yeah. Yeah, very admirable. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I look further, I mean, there's not only basketball, but there's tennis mm -hmm. um, at, at Camino Real and, and uh, mm -hmm. other, other football flag and, mm -hmm. and things that mm -hmm. you do. So it, it really does reach out extensively to the community. Right, and the classes, you mentioned the My Ventura, our yeah, recreation exactly. guide. The classes in there, you'll see so many arts programs that are over at the Bronco Vista Center. Right. Theater and arts and cooking, and it goes on and on. Uh, and then all the sports classes, we have after school sports. Uh, summer camps is always a big one. There's a variety of summer camps. Sailing and kayaking is one of our big programs. 
that I haven't mentioned yet. Yeah, I was going to ask yeah, you to say something about that. The Leo so, Robbins Community yeah. Sailing Center is down at Marine Park. Right. And that's year-round sailing and kayaking programs. Summer is big because we also, on top of having classes in sailing and kayaking, we also have summer camps. So you'll see kids down there every day all summer long in a summer camp, and that's a very popular one. Yeah. 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 And, and then for our, our older population, mm -hmm. um, adults and stuff, mm -hmm. there's leagues, there's the, the mm -hmm. recreation guide I know has a lot of this, but there's opportunities for anybody of any age within this city. There really is. You mentioned tennis at Camino Real Tennis Center. Right. There's tennis year-round youth and adults and also camps. Uh, another partner's Ventura Tennis Club, they run out of there. Um, one of the We have all kinds of um, leagues. We have adults, basketball, soccer, softball. Uh, one of our large programs is corporate games. Right. Heard of that one. Uh, that's where about 70 companies come in from all over Ventura County. And we, we've always kind of said about 30 events in 30 days. It might be a little bit more than that. But if you're around town during those 30 days, and that program is always uh, kind of April, May. Okay. And that's a very fun program. You know, companies, large or small, there's different categories. So we have little companies to small com to large companies that compete in all these events. It's a wonderful team building. Yeah. Companies walk away and they go, wow, that's the best team building we've ever done. Yeah. Yes. And, and there's so much of, of what you talk about, whether it's like corporate mm -hmm. games or it's the aquatic center and Buena Ventura Swim Club and the swim meets. But these, we look at recreation as mm -hmm. sort of, you know, being revenue neutral, but some of these bring in a lot mm -hmm. of visitors from out of town mm -hmm. and um, help our hotels, help our restaurants, mm -hmm. and help uh, this to be a more vibrant economy that we have here. They so. do, yeah. One I mentioned is, uh, one just mentioned is the swim meet that I mentioned right. to you. You know, it is about a thousand people, and you know, as yeah. you know in youth sports, that comes with siblings and mom and dad and hotels and restaurants, right. and, and it brings a lot in. So, yeah. yeah. Maybe uh, more as we're, we're drawing to a close here, you mm -hmm. could talk a little bit about how people can find out more about these programs. Mm -hmm. What are the resources if they're watching this? Where should mm -hmm. they go and, and, and learn more about how to participate and recreate in the city of Ventura? Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, well, you can, we mentioned My Ventura a few times and that is both a magazine and that's sent out to every household in Ventura. Right. So if you live in Ventura, you're gonna get that in the mail. And then also to our website anytime, cityventura.net. Uh, everything's on there as well and, uh, and any and, other and they can call the office they can call the office anytime or come down we're in city hall right so come right, down anytime right, right. And yeah most of the staff's in there so we it's, can answer your questions anytime it's, it's just just yeah. wonderful yeah. well thank you so much it's my Judy. pleasure thank I've you for enjoyed, having me yep i've enjoyed having you here um i'm ed Weehan, and mm -hmm. again um, um i thank judy for her time here this is our event ourventura.com and we've enjoyed uh, being here today thank you <laughs>